the community centre is the first and only retrofit passive house community centre in the country. We set a brief for architects to address uh, the three objectives of, uh, of the development. Reduce costs, increase capacity in terms of usership and increase usable space. The ritual building was pretty well uninsulated. It was uh, very drafty, cold, really cold, bitterly cold in winter. People would wear coats. It was drafty, it was dark. We couldn't access the basement. We had no access to the garden. The roof was an asbestos roof. Windows were metal, single glazed, critical windows, lots of condensation. When I met Justin for a preliminary interview, at that point he talked about Passive House. Um, then I also did some research on what Passive House meant. We then encouraged uh, residents to uh, be involved in the selection panel. So the design for this building was one that was agreed by residents and users of uh, the former centre. A new concept of Passive House, which really caused a lot of fighting and a lot of arguments. The biggest challenge on the project, I suppose, was engaging, bringing along the community. There were two very, very, very strong voices on the committee that thought not only was it too great a risk, it was probably a load of nonsense. No way am I going to have an experiment done on my building. I wouldn't say it came to fisticuffs, but you know, pistols at dawn almost. We had some wonderful, a couple of really key people in the, in the community who really understood and just kept the project on course. Without leadership in a situation like this, we would have been in chaos right from the start. Monitoring was funded by the Technology Strategy Board and was pretty comprehensive. My involvement was um, as an independent observer to ensure fair play, accurate uh, reporting of the findings of the study. The community has managed to save 85.5% of the total energy use of this building on an annual basis. And this is all the more remarkable if one considers that the building has actually increased in occupancy significantly post-retrofit. The passive house technique applied to uh, not only a, a refurbishment but also to a community centre, uh, you know, that's two difficult things to accomplish, uh, was in, in the end very successful. It's quite difficult to explain to people that it's a very simple building. It has cladding, has uh, a lot of glazing, which generates heat. We have solar panels that generate um, uh, electricity, and that's it. Ridiculously simple, yet so efficient. There was also very little or no connection between the building and the garden. Because we could now use the garden and we have a kitchen, we can do soup cafes or we can run courses. It wasn't built to be a beautiful building, it's a performance building. It's been totally and completely transformed, it's absolutely beautiful. 